Tuesday, uh, 2.05. Starting a bit late today, again, I pulled all of the pieces out of the tumbler, and they're so shiny. I re-enameled some of these pieces because in these initial rings there's black enamel to keep them nice and dark but in the tumbling process sometimes those really tiny stainless steel beads will get in the, the letters and it'll knock that enamel out so I just re-enameled them it's no big deal and then I can just wipe it off wipe off the extra and then we're gonna package these up before hopefully before we go pick up Isaac so we're picking up Isaac in about an hour first let me show you what all the jewelry looks like okay so here's what the reticulated hoops ended up looking like even though they're really big they are super lightweight like look how thin they are they're really strong but they're very lightweight and they have such a beautiful texture and then this was the repair that i did i don't want to put it in my grs vise the the encore vise because i don't want to squeeze this gap so i'm just gonna do it all by hand so once i set this stone we will package up these orders and then we'll get started on setting the stones in the collection finally <laughs> i want desperately to start with this dome ring it's got this like star carving in the middle and then there's gonna be a blue a piece of london blue topaz in the middle yeah okay let's move on okay so these are the tools that i use for these bezel cups. This is a burnishing tool. I use this last just to rub around the top of the setting to make it really shiny and it makes the metal strong. This is a rub over burnishing tool. And then this is just your, your basic like pusher. It's just got a square tip on it. And this is just to push the metal over. I try not to push too hard with this though because the edges are kind of sharp and it can create a little dent in the side of the stone. Not the side of the stone, but you know, in the side of the metal. So this is a really cool tip that I learned from someone on Instagram. I don't remember what her name was. To test the height of your turquoise before you put it in the cup so that you don't get it stuck, to use some dental floss so that you can pull it back out. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I literally just take some dental floss and you put it in your bezel cup because if you get your stone stuck, you can't get it out because there's no opening on the back side for you to push from the back side. If I needed to get that stone out, I would just pull on the dental floss and lift and take the stone out. When you set a stone, you always set north, south, east, west, and that way you don't end up with a crooked stone. So I'm gonna turn this sideways and I'm just gonna push north south west i'm just getting west and then from there you can do corner 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 all the way around i changed my mind i'm gonna use a ring clamp because that is hurting my hand i bought an encore grs ring clamp and it it sits right here on my desk and it rotates and all those things and that's great it's really 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 nice but I started out with this and this works really really well um, and it's super cheap I think I paid like six pounds like ten bucks just spin it and it adjusts the opening and then you close it to, to the tightness of your ring and then you just hold tight anyway let's keep trying that. I love this ring so much. It's super dainty, but has that nice big piece of turquoise and it's just very unique. I'm going to package this up and give it back to the lovely lady that sent it to me.
like to go on a field trip with me. Come on, let's go. bringing the packages to the mailbox. I am going to start sanding this dome ring. We have right now it's four o'clock and dinner's at six. So we've got an hour to see how far we can go. And then tomorrow's gonna be an edit day. So I'm gonna edit the YouTube video all day long. So wherever I get to today in stone setting, I'll pick back up on Thursday. Police car. And conspiring with shady Tories. Can I use a skip? A special relationship and I sure know you know Everyone does once they really. God, I hate this shit. That's part of it. I scratch my. So this is a spit stick. It has like a. I guess it's like a triangular face, but the sides of the triangle kind of curve a little bit. You can see the shiny little face. Anyway, you gotta keep that super, super, super sharp in order to push the silver over the stone. I made this spit stick, I bought it, and I had to cut the face off. It's weird because you can buy it already pre-made, but it's so long that no matter what, you have to cut it and remake it anyway. That makes no sense to me. Maybe one day people will make these ready to use. And then it also didn't come on this wooden handle, so I had to complete I had to cut it in half, light it on fire, and then hammer like the wooden handle on. And then I had to watch a YouTube video on how to cut this. This is the one I'm going to use. I'm going to sharpen this up because I need it to be razor sharp in order to push the the metal over. A good way to test if your blade is sharp enough is to put it on your nail, and if it slides, it's too dull. If it sticks, then it's sharp enough. Another reason why you wanna have it really sharp is because if you don't have it sharp and polished, then you won't get that shiny cut. It'll just kind of be dull and flat. So you wanna have a really nice shiny cut. So this is an Arkansas stone down here. This one's a diamond sharpener. So this one's more rough and then the Arkansas stone is a little bit softer, but it gets it kind of shiny. And I'm gonna need these as well. These are green burrs so that I can round off the grains so that they don't snag clothes. That is nice and sharp. So I got my stone setting visor and our spit stick is sharp. And this is the most nerve wracking part because if you mess this up, it's all over and there's no going back, but we're gonna do it. It's gonna be okay. Oh, why are your hands blue? I was using chalk. Oh. I was drawing on the trees. And then I started climbing trees then. That happened. Ew. That looks really gross. <laughs> yeah. I just raised the grains on this ring and my heart is beating so hard. This is like the most nerve wracking part. My heart is just like pounding in my chest. So the grains look good. They're all nice and even. Now I just have to round them off and I've had a lot of practice, but it just always, I hope one day that this won't be as nerve wracking to me. But I have noticed just with practice that when you go in like confidently and you just tell yourself like, I'm doing it and you just don't think too hard about it. It usually goes better than when you're like too in your head. So now I'm gonna use this little cupping burr so that I can round off the grains that we just raised. This is such a gamble when you do this. This is like a week of making the ring and then send it away. That's a good week for it to be casted and come back and then hope that you're able to set the stone. If this doesn't go well, then I have to start that whole process all over again. So it just feels so good to like be confident in your skills and just trust yourself that you're learning and like you're getting better. I'm excited and I've had a shit ton of coffee, so it looks really good. I'm gonna polish this up with some compound and then I'll show you the finished result. But we're gonna pause real quick because I posted a YouTube short earlier today and I forgot whenever you post a YouTube short, you have to post it from your phone and then go on your laptop or desktop and fill out your description and your tags and stuff. You can't do that from your phone. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'm going to change my camera battery because it's about to die. And then we will do the compound polish on this. 
Anyway, okay, sorry, I'll be back. I just got my first mean comment on YouTube. <laughs> Honestly, it's so sad that people like do stuff like that. I posted a short of me making those reticulated hoops. He said, no talent, like Jesus Christ. Honestly, I'm not thinking twice about it whatsoever. It's just really sad, like for that person. It's crazy to me that people go online just to like be mean. Like what happened to you that made you wanna do that? That's really sad. All right, let's go polish this stone and then we will move on to the next piece of jewelry. Let me switch from this to this. I'm so glad that I got these leather fingertips because the ring gets really hot whenever you're polishing it. That is just after the first compound. It is so much shinier than after using the green just this green little sanding wheel. The compound is super necessary, you have to use it. So let's put the rouge on it and then um, see how much shinier we can get it. Another thing, when it comes to using compounds, something else I learned was that you have to use two different mops for it. You can't mix the compounds, it will contaminate it. I don't know what it'll do, I just know that people said it will contaminate it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna stop today's video here because it is 6.40 and I was supposed to start dinner 40 minutes ago. But while I make dinner, I'm gonna be wearing this ring and I will see you tomorrow and we will set some more stones. Bye guys.